Hi students, very good morning. Today we are going to uh, deal with respect to Van der factor. Okay, in this lecture we will be going with respect to Van der factor, and this Van der factor is represented with a small i. So this is represented with a small i. Okay. So Van der factor. Before going for into the Van der factor, let us recall all the colligative properties till now whatever we have learnt. Okay. We are having four types of colligative properties. One is RLVP relative lowering of uh, vapor pressure. That is P naught minus P S by P naught should be equal to mole fraction of the solute. And mole fraction of the solute you can write it as number of moles of the solute by total number of moles of the solute plus solvent. Okay. Next delta T B that is nothing but elevation in boiling point that can be written as K B into m. This is bilioscopic constant. K B into molality is nothing but Number of moles of solute by mass of the solvent in kg. In the same way, depression in freezing point Kf into m. This can be written as Kf into number of moles of the solute by mass of the solvent in kg. And one more is osmotic pressure. It can be written as MRT. M is nothing but concentration. Concentration you can write it as number of moles of the solute by volume of the solution into RT. Okay. Till now. Whatever the solute particles that has been taken, see here. Here also, relative lowering of vapor pressure is directly proportional to number of moles of solute. Delta T B, number of moles of solute, directly proportional. See delta T F, directly proportional to number of moles of solute. Osmotic pressure, proportional to number of moles of solute. And whatever the solute that we are taking here, it is non-electrolyte. Means it is not getting dissociated. Means it is not getting dissociated. Means it is not getting into two fragments or three fragments. Okay. If you are adding one particle, means it is remaining as one particle itself in the solution. Examples like urea, glucose, sugar, these will not dissociate in the solution or associate in the solution. Okay, then nothing uh, problem with the calculation of this thing. Okay, if that is a non-electrolyte, you can directly calculate by using this formula. Suppose if you add an electrolyte, let me take an example like NaCl. Uh, assume that it is getting 100% dissociated. I am taking one mole of NaCl. Initially, it has zero and zero. Zero moles Na plus you are having zero plus zero moles Cl minus you are having. After some time, what happens? This complete Na plus gets dissociated into Na plus as well as Cl minus. So no moles will be remained here. Here in the product side, you will be having one mole of Na plus and one mole of Cl minus. See, colligative property is that property which depends upon the number of particles. Okay. What happened here? Here you are taking only one particle. Here you are getting two particles. Means what happens? Whatever the property you are observing, means the colligative property, whatever you are observing, will not be as calculated. You will be calculating by using this formula, right? But what happened when electrolyte is added? Whenever it is added immediately to the solution or solvent, it is getting dissociated into ions. Again, the number of particles has been changed. If there is change in the number of particles, automatically the colligative property will be changed. Because this property is that it depends upon the number of moles of solute. Everything see number of moles of solute, number of moles of solute here also number of moles of solute. Okay, so what happens here? This is a electrolyte means it is getting dissociated. Now what happens? The colligative property changes. Okay, so whatever the observed colligative property means whatever you are seeing exper experimentally is not equal to the ca calculated colligative property. This is what you have calculated by using this formula. You will be calculating whatever the value you are getting here will not be equal to the value whatever you are. Observing here, in the same way you can observe with MgCl2, because if you add one MgCl2, one particle, if you add MgCl2, you will be getting how many ions? You will be getting three ions. In the same way, you will taste so four, taken thrice, benzoic acid as well as acetic acid. If you add these substances, either the observed property may be greater than colligative property, or observed property may be less than colligative property. But if you add ions, uh, any electrolyte, it may be, it is observed that observed colligative property is not equal to the Calculated colligative property. Let us go in detail now. So this I, this Van der factor, is represented in this pattern. It is nothing but total number of moles of the solute after dissociation or association. There may be dissociation or association. Electrolyte may undergo anything. If it undergoes dissociation, we will take it as dissociation. If it undergoes association, we will take it as association. Right? In detail, we will learn. The general formula is number of moles. There should be the number of moles of the solute. Before, after dissociation or association, after dissociation or association, we will be taking the number of moles whatever that are present. We will be taking in the numerator by total number of moles of the solute before dissociation. Before undergoing the reaction, how many number, how many number of moles you are taking? You will be taking the denominator. So after by before. 
okay number of moles after by number of moles before then you'll be getting the matter factor i let us go first into dissociation if i go into the dissociation let us assume that it is 100 percent dissociating okay uh, if it is not getting 100 percent dissociated if you are having degree of dissociation we will learn regarding that again first our condition is a particle is taken it is getting dissociated 100 percent okay means the entire solute particles will be converted into the ions so in a plus as well as cl minus if I take one mole, how many, see, total number of moles of solute after dissociation. After dissociation, how many are there? Here one mole, here one mole. So it is number of moles are two. Initially, how many I am taking? It is one. So it is one. So I will be two. Okay. If I go for MgCl2, initially it is one mole. It integrals into Mg plus two, two Cl minus. Initially it is zero, zero. After some time, as it is 100% getting dissociated, what happens? Here, after some time, entire MgCl2 will be dissociated into the products. So that you will be having water. Uh, one mole of Mg plus 2 and two moles of Cl minus. If I take I the value, if I take the value of I, that is one half factor. See number of moles of the solute after dissociation. After dissociation, how many I am having? Two moles here, one mole. So it is three moles by initial how many I am taking? It is one mole. So it is I value will be three. Means what happens? The colligative property will be three times than the calculated. Getting this? The observed colligative property, whatever it may be, what you are getting four types of colligative properties, right? that four colligative properties with respect to this solution will be three times if it is cutting 100 percent completely dissociated okay will be three times than the naturally calculated one if it is for one it is natural if it is three it is, will be three times suppose go for this one al to so4 taken thrice if it is 100 percent getting dissociated what happens uh it, if, if initially if i take one mole two al plus three plus three so4 minus two will be f zero moles zero moles after some time this gets completely dissociated this will be zero and this one will be getting aluminium will be two moles and sulfate will be three moles so total number of moles after dissociation how many are there two plus three here total it is five by initially how many it is one so it is five by one it is equal to five okay in the same way if you go for k4 fe hexacyanide what happens 4k plus if you initially it is one zero zero after 100 percent dissociation it is zero four comma one so it is four plus one 5 total number of moles be after and initially it is taken as 1 so i will be 5 means the observed colligative property will be 5 times than the naturally calculated thing so we can say what you are getting in dissociation observed colligative property is greater than the calculated colligative property this is the, the, the general thing you are calculating from the formula and this is the thing you are getting observed if it is dissociation observed colligative property will be greater than calculated colligative property that is what we have seen here here you got two times here you got three times in this case you have got five times in this case also you have got five times okay this is with respect to 100 percent dissociation okay D dod means what degree of dissociation from what uh, uh, it is indicated with alpha dod you have learnt with respect to this one in chemical equilibrium d word is nothing but degree of dissociation it is represented with alpha it indicates from one mole of substance alpha mole of substance has been dissociated alpha mole how many moles have been gone from one mole of the substance or one more alpha moles or degree of dissociation indicates how many moles of uh, substance has undergone dissociation from one mole of the substance taken okay so in simply in dissociation Absorbed colligative property will be greater than the calculated colligative property in dissociation only. Now, if it is not 100% dissociated, see till now we have gone through 100% dissociated. If it is not 100% dissociated, dissociation only this one also. But here in this case we are talking 100% not dissociated. So let me take it is initially one mole, Na plus will be zero zero. From NaCl, 100% it is not going. Only some alpha is going. From one minus one alpha, how many will be formed here? One alpha, here one alpha. So total number of moles how many will be? 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha. Total it will be 1. These are the moles. Initially this one. So I is nothing but after dissociation how many are there? 1 plus alpha by initial. Initially how many you have taken? 1. So it is 1 plus alpha by 1. This is the way how you will be calculating if it is not 100% dissociated. In the same way MgCl2. Okay. Initially it is 1, 0, 0. After some time 1 minus alpha you will be getting here alpha, here 2 alpha. Total number of moles 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus 2 alpha minus alpha plus alpha will be cancelled so that it will be getting 1 plus 2 alpha by 1 1 means you have taken initially 1 suppose if you take this one initially 1 0 0 what will be getting 1 minus alpha plus 4 alpha this is alpha so minus alpha plus alpha will be cancelled so it is 1 plus 4 alpha by initially we are taking 1 mole okay in general it is noted in this way anyhow be clear with this only this is same 
you are having one mole here, you are getting n moles. Initially we are taking one, it is zero. One minus alpha means how many will be getting n minus n alpha. So total number of moles, one minus alpha plus alpha by initial moles, it is one. So it is equal to one plus, if you take alpha common, n minus one by one. If you take calculate the value of alpha degree of dissociation, it will be equal to i minus one by n minus one. This is what you will be getting with respect to the dissociation. If it is 100% dissociated, nothing happens. See, no, if you want to calculate here, suppose assume that this is 100% dissociated. So what will be value of alpha? Here you will be having uh, one, right? One is there. Alpha is, if it is 100%, it is one. One minus one, it will be zero. Here it will be one, one. So what it happens? One plus one, it is two. Two by one, two. Okay, so that is what you have got here. Here in the front page, NACL, you have got here two. Okay, that is what the same. If you alpha is 100%, if alpha is equal to 1, means what does that indicate? It is getting 100% dissociated. Suppose if you take 1 here, 1 minus alpha, 1 minus 1, it is 0. Here, 1, here 2, 1 plus 2, 3. So totally how many you should get? You should be getting 3 moles. If it is 100% dissociated, in this case it is not 100% dissociated. So this is the value what you will be getting and this is the degree of dissociation. Now we shall go for the <coughs> association. What is mean by association? Suppose if you are adding two particles, these two particles will combine together and they will form a single particle. See, acetic acid, you are taking two particles, it is 100% getting associated. So CH3, COOH, this is CH3, COOH. These two are getting combined by through hydrogen bonding. It has formed a single particle. Okay, then I is equal to observed color. How many number of moles are there here? It is only one mole. Initially, you have taken two moles. So it is half. What happens? The colligative property has been decreased. So observed colligative property, whatever you are observing, it is less than the calculated. Calculated means you will be taking by two, assuming that you are having two particles of acetic acid. But uh, basically you are having only one. Why? Means these two are getting associated and they are forming a single particle. So in association, observed colligative property will be less than the calculated colligative properties. Let me take an example like 3A. You are taking three particles. These three are combining and they are forming a single particle, 1A3. So what will be the I value? Hit here, what is 1? Initially you are taking 3. So it is 1 by 3. If you take 4A, converting into 1A4, finally you are getting 1 and initially you are taking 4 particles. This is what with respect to the association. Suppose if it is 100% association, if it is a partial association, let me take two moles of acetic acid, it is in equilibrium with acetic acid like this will be getting initially. See, initially if I take two, okay, product will be zero. From two to two minus two alpha will be getting here. So you are getting here two, you right? Two means here one. If you take two here initially, here this side will be zero, okay? Ah, some has been gone, means two minus two alpha. Means here how much you should get? Here you are having two, here you are having one. So it is you are getting one alpha. So what I am doing, I am dividing the entire thing with two. Okay, I am dividing this. So what happens? If I take two common here, two two will be cancelled. One minus one alpha, this will be equal to alpha by two. Okay, in simple way, if I assume two moles as one mole, initially, here it is nothing. From two moles, one mole, I am assuming from one mole, one minus one alpha means. Here it should be alpha by two, because from two moles you are taking it as alpha. From one mole, alpha by two. Okay. So total number of moles, how many? 1 minus alpha plus alpha by 2. So 1 minus alpha by 2. This is what you will be getting with respect to the partial dissociation. Suppose in the same way, if it is 3x converted to x3, 1, 0. It is, see, same you, you can take here. If you take here 3, see, if you take instead of 1, if it is 3, it is 0. It is 3 minus 3 alpha. You will be getting alpha. Divide the entire thing with 3. What you will be getting? 1 minus 1 alpha will be equal to alpha by 3. This is what I have represented here. Why I am taking here 1? Why I am dividing the entire with 3 means? So that assume that it is taken as 1. So that initially I am taking 1. So what happens? 1 minus alpha plus alpha by 3 by 1. So that it will be al uh, I value. I value will be equal to 1 minus 2 alpha by 3. General way, NA getting converted to AN. If it is 1, it is 0, 1 minus alpha plus alpha by n. If we calculate the degree of dissociation will be i minus 1 by 1 by n minus 1. No need to remember all these things. This is general way. If you are good at this solving, it is finished. So simply we can represent i. It is nothing but observed colligative property by calculated colligative property. If it is with respect to dissociation, observed colligative property will be greater than calculated one. If it is association, calculated will be greater than observed colligative property. So then the formula here it is changes. These are the what? These are the colligative properties. This is the general thing. Okay. If you are adding an electrolyte, it will be what? It will be 
uh, absorbed colligative property. So to get absorbed colligative property, what you should do? If you multiply it with I, that is one half factor, you will be getting the, whatever the, uh, whether it is dissociation or association, you will be getting that absurd one. So that to make it this uh, relative lowering of vapor pressure equal to the mole fraction of the solute, you should multiply this uh, absurd one with the calculated. So that to cal the calculated one, you should be multiplied with I. So what happens? You will be getting these two will be equal now. Okay, otherwise, if I is not taken into condition, then you will be getting wrong answers because the electrolyte, it may be undergoing either dissociation or association. In the same way, if you multiply any colligative property with I, you will be getting the correct answer. Okay, so it is Kb into M into I, Tf into Kf into M into I, here pi is equal to MRT into I. So, everywhere dissociation or association, this is applicable. Suppose if there is no dissociation or association, I value be equal to 1, whatever the value you have taken, it will be the same. If there is association or dissociation, then the I value changes. So, if you multiply with that I, then you will be getting the original answer. The correct colligative property value will be obtaining. Right? So, this one is the correct formula. This are the correct only. If you multiply with Van Hoff factor I, then you will be getting the correct colligative property value. Okay? So, I is nothing but absurd colligative property by calculated colligative property. So, let us take question. <coughs> At a given temperature, which of the following have maximum osmotic pressure if it is 100% dissociated? We are taking 100% dissociation. Means what happens? Complete uh, solute is undergoes into the product. So NaCl, 1 molar NaCl, 1 molar Na2SO4, 1 molar Al2SO4 taken test. What he is asking? He is asking osmotic pressure. And you know that pi is equal to MRT into I. So as concentration is same, so you can remove M. R is constant. As temperature is in R motion, T is constant. So, pi depends upon here, I. So, I is equal to, for NaCl it is, Na plus Cl minus 2, you will be getting, here NaTSO4. See, he has mentioned 100% dissociated. Okay. Uh, so, you can get completely. So, NaTSO4 means 2 Na plus 1 SO4 minus 2. So, you totally will be getting, I is equal to 3 by 1. So, it is 3. Al2 SO4, you will be getting 2 Al plus 3 plus 3 SO4 minus 2. So, 5 by 1, it is 5. So, these are the values. Uh, more is the I value, more will be the osmotic pressure. So, which one is having the highest I value? This one is having, so highest osmotic pressure will be exhibited by aluminum sulphate, which is of one molar concentration. See, more concentration is common, that's why I have removed here. If concentration is different, then you can't go for that. See, let us take one more question, one molar NaCl, one molar urea, one molar. See, here also concentration is same in water. Which of the following has the highest osmotic pressure? So, pi is equal to MRT into I, concentration among this is same, R same, T is not mentioned, T is same and I. I will be getting 2. Urea, nothing. One is one particle. This will not undergo dissociation or association. And acetic acid. This is benzoic acid. This one undergoes what? Association. Anything benzene reacted with acetic acid, COOH, that undergoes dimerization. So, 1 by, initially you are taking 2, it undergoes com com combination or association and it forms one molecule. So, it is benzoic acid is 1 by 2. So, among this highest osmotic pressure will be by this one, next by urea, next by benzoic acid. Now, take the question. Solve this 1% urea solution, 1% NaCl, 1% Na2SO4, weight by volume. While temperature is co kept constant, uh, arrange the order of osmotic pressure. So, what you will be doing urea, you will be having I factor is 1. NaCl you will be having 2, Na2SO4 you will be having 3. So, Na2SO4 will be having greater NaCl, next after that urea. This is wrong. See, concentration is not same here. So, pi is equal to MRT into I. R and T are common. M is not common. Percentage. These are percentages. Means, uh, one percentage means what? One gram of urea is present in 100 ml of solution. So, pi, this depends upon M into I. So, for urea, pi is equal to, M is what you can write, weight by molecular weight. Weight is 1 gram, molecular weight of urea is 60 into 1000 by, we are telling percent, so it is 100 ml into, urea means, I, I value is 1. So, you will be getting 1 by 6. If you go for NaCl, I value is 2. So, it is pi into weight, 1 gram by 58.5 molecular weight into 1000 by 100 into, I value is 2. You will be getting 1 by 2.92. And next, Na2SO4, it is Na2SO4, pi value is something like 3. Pi is equal to weight 1 by molecular weight 142 into 1000 by 100 into I value is 3. So, you will be getting 1 by 4.7. So, based on these values, now if you see pi NaCl is greater than pi NaCl so is greater than pi urea, if you calculate these values, right. See, now according to I value it is greater, but these are all not the same concentrations. These are all different concentrations. Different concentration means you should go for the calculation here. Be cautious here. If concentration is same, then you can go for the I particle. 
you can go for the uh, based on i if concentration is different you should be you should based on both concentration as well as one half factor right students let us take one more question <coughs> a two molar nacl solution in water has elevation in boiling point of 1.88 if kb for water is 0.52 kelvin kg per mole calculate i and degree of dissociation nacl he is mentioning degree of dissociation means what does it indicate it is not undergoing 100% dissociation okay initially it is taken as 1 0 0 so it is 1 minus alpha 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 if it is completely dissociation what it will become you will be getting 1 itself right 0, zero you will be getting 2 moles directly i will be equal to 2 but he has mentioned the, the alpha also alpha means it is not getting 100% dissociated then delta tb will be equal to what kb into m into i delta tb it is mentioned as 1.88 kb is equal to 0.52 and m molality is 2 molal so it is 2 and into i okay if you calculate i value then you will be getting 1.8 so the value calculated i is 1.8 and he is asking what and he is asking alpha value also so how what you can write i is equal to number of moles 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha by initial it is 1 so minus alpha plus alpha will be cancelled i will be equal to 1 plus alpha i value you have got 1.8 so it is 1 plus alpha alpha will be equal to 0 0.8 or in terms of percentages it is 80 percentage okay students i hope that you are following me next m by 10 solution okay decimolar solution of potassium ferrocyanide this is the formula is 50 percent dissociated at 27 degrees centigrade calculate osmotic pressure options are these 6.5, 7.5, 8.5, 9.5 atmospheres. Pass the video and try to solve this. 1, 2, 3. I am explaining you. This is the equation what you will be getting. Initially, if you are taking 1 mole, this is 0, 0. If it is uh, alpha has been gone, you will be getting 4 alpha, this is alpha. And I value will be equal to 1 plus 4 alpha. And already, minus alpha plus alpha will be cancelled. 1 plus 4 alpha is equal to i. And you know that alpha value is equal to 50%, it means 0 0.5. So it is 1 plus 4.5, so you will be getting the value like 3. If you see directly, you will be getting 5 value. And he is mentioning that it is 50% dissociated. Means you are having alpha. It is not 100% getting dissociated. If it is 100% dissociated, you will be getting value 5. It is not getting 100% dissociated. It is getting only 50% dissociated. So the Van Hoff factor I will be equal to 3. Then he is asking osmotic pressure. So pi is equal to MRT into I. Mm. Concentration is 1 by 10. He has mentioned M by 10 solution. So it is 1 by 10 into R value is 0 0.0821 into 300 into I value you have got here 3. So if you calculate that answer will be 7.389 atmospheres. Option B will be the correct answer. Right students, this is the last question for this session. <coughs> a solute A tetramerizes in water up to 80% alpha value has given. If 2.5 grams of A in 100 grams of water produces depression in freezing point of 0 0.3. So he is with respect to delta T he is talking Tf. Kf is equal to 1.86. Calculate the molar mass of the A. So what he is telling? A is tetramerizing. Means 4 times of A it is getting into A4. If you take it in one shape, 0. If you take 1 minus alpha it will be alpha by 4. So if you calculate the value of I. 1 minus alpha plus alpha by 4. You will be getting 1 minus 3 alpha by 4. 1 minus 3 alpha E value is 80 percent he has mentioned right. So it is 0 0.8 by 4. You will be getting I value is equal to 0 0.4. Okay. And you place this I here. Delta Tf is equal to Kf into M into I. So delta Tf he has mentioned 0 0.3. Kf is 1.86 here. Uh, next molality. Molality means weight by molecular weight. Weight how much? 2.5 grams he has mentioned. By molecular weight you should calculate that X into 1000 by. He has mentioned uh, 100 grams of water. So it is 100 into I. I value is 0 0.4. So if you substitute these values and if you calculate X it will be equal to 62. Right. So I is nothing but absorbed colligative property by calculated colligative property. And you know that calculated colligative property is what? Uh, generally whatever you are taking the formula. So colligative property, how it is proportional to the molecular weight? It is inversely proportional. So colligative property is directly proportional to the number of particles and inversely proportional to the molecular weight of the molecular weight of the solute particles. So in, with respect to colligative property, you can talk it as observed colligative property by cal calculated colligative property. If you talk with respect to the molar masses, it is calculated. This one you will be getting 1 by molecular weight, calculated molecular weight. This one 1 by absorbed molecular weight. So, what happens? You will be getting calculated molecular mass by absorbed molecular mass. These are the things what you can know with respect to I. See, based on I only, you will be getting the questions. So in the next video, we will be going with respect to questions or maybe with respect to the last content of this chapter that is called as Henry Law. Okay. 
okay next session will be going with respect to henry law where we can by that the chapter will be finished if the time permits we will go through the questions whatever that has been appeared in the previous je exams all okay and you can say that colligative property is inversely proportional to the molecular mass so that's why based on this i have written this formula okay students practice the bits whatever that are present in your material have a nice day all the best bye bye